the workshop aims to seek inputs from key stakeholders on the draft resettlement criteria. We also, as communal farmers, we don't just farm for ourselves or our households or our immediate families, but that we get the opportunity to also join the economy of Namibia, to join the mainstream of the economy, and at the end of the day to give other people an opportunity also to become communal farmers. And how do we do that? By taking out those farmers that are already strong to give them an opportunity to, to acquire another piece of land so that new communal farmers can come in and so that we all can have a benefit to this policy. There's also the option of, of, of this land turning into freehold, especially farmers that are in the high economic value model. So after a 10 year or a probation period, these farmers will be able now, if they successfully complete that uh, a probation period, they will be able now to, this land will be able to change from a leasehold into a freehold. So it, uh, the, the, the ownership aspect is also addressed there. So it will give our farmers that, that courage just to, just to work hard and to use the farms productively so that at the end of the day they can also become owners of this land if they prove themselves. The criteria for prospective applicants are divided into three models, which are the high economic value model, medium economic model and low economic value model, aimed at ensuring that all farmers are catered for in the revised policy. According to my understanding, this is for those that have lost land or is landless, and they can now also benefit through this policy. A settlement for me is repositioning those that do not have land and providing them with land to farm on. In the past, we applied to be resettled and some were very lucky. With the added inputs in the criteria, many more farmers will be assisted through this policy and this makes me very happy. got a lot to, to, to share with the farmers about our experiences. Um, and for us, it's, it's important that our farmers should also know, those who are coming in, they should know that it's important to have some resource base uh, that will sustain uh, the farming. I would want to see those criteria a bit reduced so that they accommodate both youth in uh, urban areas, in communal, to get access to the land so that they'll be able to farm and contribute to the economy. The workshop ends on Friday. Na Tangwe Jimmy NBC News, Kiet Mansuap.